I want to do a little bit more background on Leanne here. Please. There's some stuff we missed. What was your first job? Uh, I drove a tow truck. For your first job? Yeah, I did. Whoa. Well, my dad's a mechanic. He had his own shop. Okay. So I drove his That's truck. family business. He was like 13. And yeah. I was uh, a... <laughs> fucking repo man at 13. Right? I ran parts and I Hey, man, you got to make your payments. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> ran parts. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Man, that's some roughneck <laughs> shit, Leanne. This is so uh, You're a very watch. prim and proper, well put together woman. Well, you know, it'd be like I started, I started driving truck at I 12. I thought you were going to say, like, you waited tables at the no, local diner or no, something. No, no. Okay. No. Tow truck driver. Yeah, I drove a tow truck. It was pretty fun because I'd show up and these guys would be like, hey, Leanne, where's your daddy? And I go, uh, at the shop. Well, who's picking? I mean, like, you're in the truck. Uh-huh. Who's, and I'm like, I'm putting your truck on. I'd been putting trucks now on. Now, grab that winch, you pussy. Since I was like seven. <laughs> I mean, I'd been doing everything except driving the truck since I was about seven. So Shit, I was like, Darnell, help me get the truck on. <laughs> yeah, well, what right? the fuck are you talking about? Is I'm putting it on. And they'd be like, what? They just hear the shotgun click. Uh, <laughs> put it up. Seven? Well, I started riding in the wrecker with my dad when I was seven. The yeah. wrecker. Wrecker. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Up on up on Hopscotch Mountain. <laughs> is that a name? It? It? <laughs> Blackjack Mountain. Blackjack. <laughs> this is the best. Blackjack Mountain. That sounds like a made up mountain. Okay, want to hear some redneck? Hill. Okay, here's a redneck thing. So my dad and I lived in a log cabin. It had no heat. It fucking sucked. Mm-hmm. I had to cut firewood all the time. So we decided he decided he was going to put a furnace in it, but we had to build a chimney for this furnace. So we went to Blackjack Mountain in his Jeep with a trailer on it to pick up rocks, these big rocks on the mountain, to build this rock this chimney. This sounds like a story so, from the 1300s. So, oh, this is not even We went to pick up rocks. We did. We had to pick up big rocks, big rocks for this chimney. But Blackjack is covered in rattlesnakes. So. <laughs> of course it is, <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm watching this unravel and I and I know how big the yarn gets. So here's what we did. Daddy said, here's what we're gonna do. You roll over the rock and I'll shoot the snake. And then we'll put the rock in the trailer. Sometimes there'll be a snake under a rock, sometimes there won't. Okay. So just roll it over and, and he's move ready real quick with gun, yeah. and I'll shoot it. I don't remember how many rattlesnakes we shot that day, but it was a lot. So we had to do this over and over, like every weekend for several weekends to get enough rocks to uh-huh. build the chimney. But oh, yeah, that was shit. how we built our chimney. <laughs> when I met, when how I met, how old were you? By the way, this has. Uh, gotten... I was probably about 12, 11 or twelve. <laughs> when I when I met her dad, <laughs> and, and I rock told... and rattlesnake. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We also had a snake. We went rock lived, catching. We had a rat snake that lived in our bathroom. And we you opened, was, seriously, like he was paying rent. No, <laughs> he was eating the rats in our house. Oh. So he was like, instead of having a cat, which we also had a cat, but we had a snake that lived in our bathroom. He coiled around the, the toilet, and we'd open the door at night. It would go, shoo, underneath the cabinet. It was kind of scary. Uh, the look but, on your kind face. of scary. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. do you mean, dude? It was it's a hillbilly Roomba. That's it what that is. Like a, yeah. <laughs> when I when I met her dad, he I said, uh, "Yeah, I'm Bert. I'm dating. I think it was it was it when he was living in the convenience store." Yeah, he did live in the back of a convenience store too. In the though. freezer, it was the best fucking. Behind place the ever. freezer, he lived the, in the freezer. It was the best fucking. Wait, who did? My dad. dad. Your dad was living in a convenience. Was store. he working there? Well, he was trying to. He was planning for his retirement because you know being a mechanic oh, is okay, pretty that hard. That makes sense. So, <laughs> so well, he you know was nobody at EF Hutton answering the phone. Playing no, for right? His retirement. Well, he was doing two things for his retirement. He started uh, collecting big block engines. Okay. Uh, to sell later. Sure. And then he bought a convenience store and sold his house okay. and moved into the back of the convenience nice. store. Nice. It was right? fucking awesome. So you were like I, a I city slicker. Ta- I will tell you, I was, a, I was the... I, you were probably some yuppie that I, came I, in and was I, stealing I, his daughter. I, I was a Yankee. Yankee. That's what Yankee. I, was, yeah. I was called a Yankee. Yankee. And, uh, and he said to me when I met him, he said, I said, yeah, I'm Bert. I, I'm, I absolutely adore your, your daughter. And he said, no. Boy, you got one of the best fo- frog giggers out there. Frog giggers? <laughs> he did say that. I he goes, you, you just got yourself one of the best frog giggers out there. And oh, like, you're a frog. You're the frog gigger. Yeah. Yes. Was that a frog catcher? Oh yeah, yeah. So almost, so ahead. we um, you this know, we didn't wild. have we didn't have a lot of money. So when for fun, we would camp on the river uh-huh. and put a, a John boat in the river and go up and down the What's river. What's a John boat? <clears throat> it's a flat-bottomed aluminum boat. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
and gig for frogs. Well, some people have like the, the like three pronged fork that they like stab a frog with. Mm-hmm. We didn't have that. You just kind of reach in the bank and grab them. But it's at night. Okay. So you have to like spotlight and you have to, you have to, <laughs> this sounds so redneck. You have to be able to tell no, the not difference. not at all. What, are you kidding me? You Back to the to, gigging. You have to take your spotlight and you have to be able to tell the difference between frog eyes and snake eyes so you don't grab a snake. Jesus, dude. So, but, so you what spend the, the night just grabbing frogs and you collect enough frogs and then you, you have frog legs. You eat frog legs. Man, tough cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I grew up frog gigging and also we did something called set hooking where you put like, Bamboo cane poles up and down the side of the river to, to catch catfish. This sounds like another country. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's Georgia. It sounds like it's Georgia. It sounds like stuff you would do in war. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it fun though? It's so it, much fun. It was, it's so fucking I've, fun. Oh, trust me, I, I, I'm a big woods guy. I grew, I grew up. I like it. I love it. It's yeah, wild. We, it's you, so fun. It, we'd go down there to the river and uh, drink and moonshine. Drink moonshine and. <laughs> And uh, the, and all these old men are the best storytellers in the oh, world. Oh, sure. In I mean, you world. hear stories. And by the way, you want to talk about no political correctness? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you get it. You'd be. I would it's like be, the twenties. I there. would be crying. Fucking. Her grandfather was the best storyteller, and he was he was an interesting guy. He'd grab you and walk you off into the woods to tell you a story, like just to get you. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, that guy. I yeah. really. I I I, I fucking love that. He dude. wore overalls for a wedding. He was pretty. Re- he was pretty real. That's I all right. That's what I'm talking about. Did he have like a shirt and tie under them? He or? did. Really? Yeah. yeah, he had a shirt and tie. He wore his Sunday overalls because you start with the Sunday overalls, and when you wear them enough, they turn into work overalls, and you buy a new pair of Sunday. Gotcha. Because the Sunday is like you know dark blue. Sure. So he wore his Sunday overalls wow. and a coat and tie. Yeah, colored shirt. I just I just came up with a great business model. Sidebar: You <laughs> should do these live at people's Frog houses for birthday parties. What? Like, if you did these as a live event for, for families to go, I'll give you 10 grand to come over and do a live event and do it for our friends, because this is funny shit to watch. This, <laughs> this is funny shit. This is funny shit. You are the grossly look- overestimating the income level of our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> you think they have 10 grand to spend on a wedding? Are you we got a bunch of frog giggers out there. Uh. We love you. <laughs> Um, what else? What else have you had? Just as far as uh, the cuisine, so you've had frog frog legs. Yeah, yeah. I've Any eaten s- snake. 